we have a very special Oscar edition of See It, Rent It. Skip it this morning. Movie critic for FatGuysAtTheMovie.com, Kevin Carr, joining us with his predictions. It's my Oscar stamp. I like it. It's very <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, let's start with uh, Best Supporting Actress. Yes. Who's going to win? I think that a lot of people are thinking of Melissa Leo, but she ran that little own Oscar campaign for uh -huh. herself. I really think the wind's going to blow to Haley Seinfeld from True Grit. Okay. Because, you know, when you're young like that, you can win that Best Supporting Oscar. She was kind of the star of the movie. Yeah. She did she a fantastic really job. What about Best Supporting Actor? Now, Best Supporting Actor, again, this is one that might mix up a little bit. The good money is on Christian Bale for The Fighter. Yeah. <clears throat> but, uh, so, you know, maybe Jeffrey Rush for The King's Speech, but, you know, if I'm going to put money on it, it's going to be Christian Bale for The Fighter. He's won awards already. I think I'm going with Christian Bale, too. Yeah. I have to admit. Batman. Yeah. It was a great movie, too. Um, <laughs> all right. So we've got true. Best Actress also to talk about. There's, That's right. There's definitely a favorite here to win it. There is. There, uh, the, the favorite is, is Natalie Portman. Right. I think she's going to win it. But again, you've got Nicole uh, Nicole Kidman for Rabbit Hole. You've got Annette Bening for The Kids Are All Right. They both, Annette Bening and Natalie Portman, won Golden Globes. Yeah. I think it's going to be Natalie Portman. It's probably going to be one of the few that Black Swan actually wins. Yeah, and we're looking uh, at a little bit of video from that. Yeah. She was just incredible in yeah. this film. And I was her body double in this. Oh, scene. you were? Yeah, yeah you look just like her, actually. Uh, just, I, you, you have a little bit more hair. Just a tad. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what about Best Actor? Who do you think is going to win that? Uh, this one, again, if there's going to be a sure thing, it's going to be Jeffrey Rush. I'm sorry, not Jeffrey Rush, Colin Firth okay. for The King's Speech. <laughs> I messed up there. Yeah. Um, he was up against Jeff Bridges last year for a single man, and, and Jeff Bridges won. Jeff Bridges is not going to win this year. It's going to be uh, Colin Firth because that's the one everyone's going to, and it's his year. Yeah, it is his year. What about Best Director? Because there were so many yeah. wonderful films out this year. A lot of people thought Christopher Nolan was snubbed. I'm like, well, yeah, he wasn't going to win anyways. This is where I think it's going to split. I think they want to give it to David Fincher because of he didn't get it for Zodiac, he didn't get it for Benjamin Button. And I think they want to give it to David Fincher for doing The Social Network. The Social Network, really. No, was it one of your favorite movies, do you think? Just, no, I, I personally didn't, didn't like it. I didn't like it, but a lot of other people did. Okay. Well, the big award for the night, of course, Best Picture. Of course. Who's that going to? Well, see, like I said, I think it's going to split. Th this year, I think they're going to definitely go for The King's Speech. Now, they've got ten yeah. nominees. There's a bunch of them that aren't even well, going to be considered. To but I, I think The King's Speech, is that's the one. We'll Perfect Storm, person. everything's coming I'll towards it. And like I said... Uh, it, it's going to split between this and Social Network for Best Picture and Best Director. Okay, who do you think is going to be ugliest dressed? Oh, gosh, I have no idea. Is Lady Gaga going to this thing? Thank you. I was hoping you would say that. She probably will show up. Yeah, in a meat dress. In a meat or dress like inside an egg. Wouldn't that be something? Okay. Well, you what? She did to embarrass herself. Who? Melissa Leo. Tell her. Oh, she, she, did. she ran her own Oscar campaign. Which is a big no-no. You're not allowed to do that. Yeah, and she and she. It's one of those things that she was the odds-on favorite, and they said, and then she started taking ads out for herself. Say, hey, vote for me, vote for me. <laughs> and the academy, the academy's fickle and very political, so yeah. they're going to be like, oh, no, 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 you don't do that. Shame on you. Right, I, but wouldn't she know that already? Because I know that, and I'm not in Hollywood. <laughs> She's been in, in, around for a long time, and and she had the best actress nomination for Frozen River a couple years ago too. Yeah. So. Who knows? Very interesting. What All you right. Thinking? Kevin Carr joining us for his <laughs> Oscar predictions. Of course, we will be following them very closely, and hopefully, you can come back and talk to us next time. I can't wait to see who wins best sound next I week. can't wait to see who's worst dressed. We'll be right back.